All right, that's a good time to switch in. It uh, looks like uh, my playlist forgot to loop on that one. So it is Friday, and it's been a while since I've done a hardcore stream. At least, uh, I think it was probably middle of December last time I did one. So I'm doing one now. Going to see if I can get through this without dying, get my house built up, get all nice and stacked up, and eventually take down the dragon. But uh, this is sort of a long chill play. Good day, Level Up Leo. Good to see you here before your own stream, which I certainly will be raiding after this is done. Oh, um, from one of the, your previous streams, you played the game Inscription. I have been somewhat obsessively playing that one lately. It's really good, and... Uh, I'm just having a good time with it. Highly recommend it. So we are going to get back to some chill mining and chill crafting. I'll throw on the in-game music. Because a lot of this is going to be a, at least a little grindy. It's a, you know, hardcore worlds, especially getting set up all nice, are more of a slow burn. 
So, previously, I had spawned pretty near a village that was near another village that was near, I think, another village over there. Did some exploration, picked a spot I wanted to build up. Uh, spent some time over there on Turtle Island. I'm taking a bit of a frame rate hit. Give me a moment here. Video setting. Quality. I turned some stuff up trying to fix something and it didn't uh, get past the first act i did not i got really close it took a few runs but uh couldn't i didn't have an answer for that moon and i didn't have any more squirrels so uh i'll play around with that one later if i'm still having frame rate issues i forget it's different overhead when i'm playing it on a server versus when i'm playing it on my local hosted world actually yeah you know what i am gonna switch that back it didn't actually give me any difference anyway. Quality. Let's turn that off. I'm going to restart this real quick. Shouldn't take too long. This is why I get nice smooth. <laughs> the, run, the run where you first got through everything. I got two boons out of that too. I got the draw twice and then I got, I uh, can't remember what the other one was. It wasn't the I one, though, that uh, online guides have suggested that I want. But, uh, yeah, I steamrolled him right in the moon, and I just happened to be out of squirrels, so I couldn't play anything in my hand. Also, I had, I had the squirrel totem with the stink effect, so when I had squirrels on the field, they were debuffing things, and I thought, oh, well, I'll just outlast the moon by reducing its attack power to zero. It turns out he just kills my board anyway. So that's actually where I lost all the last of my squirrels. Alright, let's go into Hardcore World and resume hardcore it up. I'm going to snooze the upcoming ad because I just started. We'll see how she plays. I also got a lot going on here. I might play around with it later. But I'm going to make some space here. Because I want to build my house. I'm going to blow out this axe before I'm done. It's just a stone axe. Alright, time to pick up all this uh, this bamboo. I've got plans for the bamboo. So I set up an auto smelt over there. Uh, yeah, I think I was saying midway through saying last time I spent some time on Turtle Island. Got myself a turtle shell helmet. As I've been working on setting up enchanting. Have a few extra turtle shell helmets so that way I can enchant them and stick them together to make a really good one later. So yeah, this is what I got going on here as I've got my auto smelt going, cooking various things that I'm supplying it with. And my fuel source has been mostly bamboo. Also dried kelp blocks from uh, earlier, from last stream. Let's see, I'm saving the durability on that because that's not the easiest one to come by right now. But I only need a bit of that. Yeah, let's make myself another stone axe and finish clearing my uh, farm out. I'll get a secondary farm over there anyway, so it's n not going to exactly hurt my supplies. This makes such a satisfying noise when I chop them. Goals for today. I think my main goal for today is I want to get some serious ground on building a house. Uh, on my previous Hardcore World stream, I had just finished building a house and decided to do a little spelunking and got blown up by a creeper. So, uh, I didn't really get that much time to enjoy the house that I had built. So I'm thinking of sticking with the same design this time around. It, I liked, I liked how it looked. And I didn't really get to enjoy it, but I need the space to do that. Also got a bit of a farm going on over there keep myself supplied in goodies as well as not just food but uh, leather for books as well that way I can get my enchanting on at some point I'll break the uh, 
the furnace in the auto smelt and claim all that sweet, sweet EXP it's got saved up in it. Oh yeah, I'm literally full of bamboo here. Nice. That ought to that ought to keep the old smelt going for a while. I also want the stone out of it because I'll be building my house out of that. Let's make some more kelp block. Keep things nice and fueled very sustainably. And I need lots and lots of those. Actually, that's that's probably enough to start off with anyway. So I've got a kelp farm going on in there. I've got a farm farm going on over here. Uh, still tons of turtle eggs if I wind up needing to go over and get myself more, uh, more turtle helmet stuff. I uh, kind of got a little bit of a turtle sanctuary going on. Ooh, more scutes. Okay, I'll take those. Oh, yeah, these are all pretty close to hatching. I don't think they'll hatch unless I'm close enough. So, good way to keep myself in water-breathing helmets. Which I would actually consider, at this stage, more worth it than the extra armor that having diamond would give. Uh, worth it worth it enough anyway. Oh yeah, I was gonna breed some cows. So that's why I had that in my hand <laughs> Did I just oh yeah, there's a chest over there for it. All right Growing uh, growing a good crop of this as well get my sugar cane on and I had a Lot of things with turtle that aren't hermit. Yeah Well, I mean I'm living away from the rest of society. So in a way I am the turtle hermit but uh, did some digging here to hollow out some goods. Lots of, lots and lots of goods. Mostly, you know, stone for the house project. Um, this is iron level, or ideal iron Y level on uh, 1.18. So I left myself a little base here so I can spin off wherever and gather some iron. And then going down the rest of these stairs takes us to diamond level and uh, all that all that deep slate so yeah this is ideal diamond level so I'll eventually be expanding here looking for diamonds maybe looking for some caves to pop out into yeah I put in a bit of off stream just digging constantly because I figured that would be boring to watch I mean I know Chill hardcore worlds aren't the most exciting until a person tries something adventurous anyway, but, uh, you know, try to minimize the straight-up grinding. Get my sleep on. Let me skip that one, too. Whoop. Autopilot. Drop that off. Gonna make more cows. Gather round. I don't know what's going on over here. <laughs> yeah, get me some more cows going. There's plenty of wildlife around, so eventually if I want to farm pigs, if I want to farm uh, chickens or anything like that, it'll be easy enough to corral some up. But right now, cows are my main source of, uh, main source of food supplies as well as my main source of leather then being uh, doubly useful is why i'm keeping that going just toss some more raw beef in the old cocoroni 
the auto smelt 3000. I am going to need those glass in a bit. Took some screenshots of the house that I had built on my previous run. So I didn't uh, didn't want to lose all that work right away. Let's see. Just get a position this where the door is going to be. And make myself some oak. So yeah, I think... Hmm. Well, um, back door isn't really back door. It's more of a view than anything. But I want to be at least... Yeah, I give myself this for distance. Three, four, five, space. One, two, three, four, five. I'll probably turn those into half slabs. Yeah, I'll, I'll make some slabs for that. I just wanted to get the measurements out. Wait, what? I can't craft that on a treasure chest. There we go. Let's slab it up. Oh, right. I was going to save some oak logs. Well, I will just have to go to the... Uh, to the Oak Log Porium. Built myself a bit of a tree stand over here. Keep myself supplied initially in fuel, but now it's just building materials. Apples for golden apples, all that fun stuff. Try to be nice and enchanted before I go really spelunking this time around. Maybe, maybe blast prot is worth a bit in this uh, in this setting. I'm gonna run out of axe before I run out of log to cut. Turn the Minecraft music on for this, right? Options, music and sounds. Yes, I did. All right, cool. It is uh, pleasant out today. It looks nice and bright. Oh, no, wait, that's my window completely covered in snow. Never mind. switch this out now and save myself having to break this stuff later. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's closer to that than I originally wanted it to be. But uh, I can always move this later. Was that thunder or a snowplow? Okay, so it's not just me. Um, yeah, we are getting a blizzard as well as thunder and lightning at the same time. So that's, um, quite, quite interesting, really. Let's put that there for right at the moment. Yeah, I don't think I've seen, uh, snow lightning before. But, uh, that's... <laughs> All right. Nature, nature has been interesting this winter so far. I've actually, I've never seen, I had never seen so much lightning, thunder and lightning storms in December before um, this most recent winter. And now it looks like that's carrying on into January. Just grab those so I can replant that later. Snow lightning is interesting. do this. I know I want to have some stairs going up into it. Might have to occasionally refer to the pictures of... Yeah, let's go like this. Give myself a little porch that I can make later. Refer to pictures of my old house. Uh, that's going to be the same. And that's going to be a fireplace eventually. 
I'll have to pop onto a map where I've made a fireplace so that I can uh, remember a really good build I came up with. Probably have to cook some cook some coal. Sorry, cook some bricks as well. All right, so we've got that now. Let's get this going. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to move the enchanting, but that's all right. And I got lots of tree to rebuild those bookshelves. Uh, do I have I have a door? Actually, that's all I need. There we go. It's a house. Now, I think last one had uh, wood floors. So I think I'm gonna go with that again. I definitely need more than that. And I might as well actually redo the ones that are supposed to be slabs. I got the measurements all sorted out now. Should have done that one right. Yeah, I'm also hoping you don't lose power before your stream. Because then I'd have to find somebody else to raid at the end of my stream. Also, then I would also miss seeing your stream, which has been very entertaining. Gotten me hooked on some new games over the course of the last bit. Alright, now we've got that all nice and sorted out. Whoop! <laughs> ah, wrong one. It's raining in game, but it is uh, big fat snowflakes as well as thunder and lightning for some reason outside. So this is one of the weirder winter storms. I'll just make a bunch of them. I can always reuse some later. Or burn them in the auto smelt. Just gentle, mu gentle piano music while it rains and you build a house. Makes one harken back to simpler times. Oh wow, I actually did go through all those, okay. I'm not good at uh, judging how much I need. Really not good at judging how much I need. Well, that should do the trick, I would think. Give me easy access to the farming route, which I'll definitely add more animal enclosures, more crops over on this side. My easiest route to the village, and uh, this will be my route to the nether, and wherever I shift that, I'll probably shift that to, like, here. I think that's a good spot for that. Oh, did not want to do that. I mean, I would never notice it, but I'd know. I'd know it would always be in there taunting me. Oh yeah, I need more doors. There we go. That's more doors than I need, but uh, yeah. That's what the auto smelt is there for. I can cook off all my old doors, use them to make uh, other stuff. Alright. Let's start the serious building. remember how I had my windows set up before, because I also liked the look of that. And eventually, of course, I'll rebuild this as... One, two, three, four, five, and then I just put this here. Perfect, that'll be sort of the center of where I put the fireplace. Leave that one as my step up. Whoop. Um, no, actually, yeah. Good thing I cooked lots of stone. Consult my screenshots a few times. Might even have to pop back into. Hmm. 
I am realizing I didn't do that quite how I wanted that. His window goes here. Yeah, now I'm remembering. Oh well. This one is... I'll, I'll, do, I'll leave this one like this for now, because I don't know what exactly I'm going to do the back before I finish. So I can leave that one all good to go. Not looking too shabby here now. I might have to actually look at the other one to figure out how I did that roof, but I can do some of that later. Let's see, first off, where's the bed? I'm going to switch it to daytime, bring the bed inside with me, and set it up in the house. Ha! Yeah. Burn. if I wound up liking window panes more than regular windows or not. Might play around with that a little later. Actually, come to think of it, that still leaves me lots of place for a... Uh, whoop! The light just flickered! That, if, if I suddenly stop streaming, it's because I don't have electricity. I'm really hoping I keep my electricity, though. Because that's where all my entertainments are. Hmm. Yeah, I'll eventually expand that into, like, a porch. Maybe I'll shorten these ones. Oh, no, side porch would be nice. I'll shorten one of them, probably. Eventually. Okay, so phase one of house is done. I'm not sure if that's the wind howling, or if that's sirens, or maybe both, but I don't know why I set my spawn. Obviously, I don't get to respawn. Ooh, yeah, that is windy AF. I should uh, build an auto cane farm at some point. I might do that... Uh, I might do that one off stream just so that you don't gotta watch me bumbling around as I try to figure out redstone stuff. Ah, who knows. Get all that sugar cane so I can make paper, so I can make books, so I can enchant stuff. Also so I can trade eventually with them um, librarian villagers. Paper trade going and get all those nice emeralds. Plant all my nice sugar cane. I don't think I'll. I don't think I'll expand the sugar cane farm too much further. It's uh, doing pretty good right now in terms of the output. I think my next step in sugar cane domination will be the auto, the auto sugar cane farm. Just get some uh, pistons and stuff going. And I'm still missing those because I'm still hearing pops. Yeah, that could definitely be more efficient. There we go. And I'm just going to... Oh, I must have had more than one row of... Uh... Yeah, my memory, it's been long enough ago since I've played this world. My memory of some of it is a little shaky. There we go. That'll make nice supplies. Now, how did I do this roof? Well, I know it involved a lot of this. Probably way more stairs, actually. I'll start off with that. I am just going to uh, quickly review review Ye Holy screenshots. So if it freezes, that's why. Oh. 
I don't know what's going on with my screenshots, but they look really bad. Uh, huh. It doesn't look like it's looking where I was looking. I think that's right. Was it one higher? Uh, nope, that's where it was. Nice. Okay. Well, that's just mean. Uh, upper, upper bits. Uh, upsides to this place, it's way less terraforming than on my previous hardcore world. Had to do a lot of terraforming. I did a lot of digging up dirt off stream just to make that possible. So this is nice in comparison. I do miss all the gear and stuff that I had though. <laughs> but that's the that's the nature of the beast. Oh, my lights just flickered again. Just heads up for folks watching from home. Well, of course, where else would you be watching a uh, stream from, really? There we go. Making all of them. I'll need to get up on that roof in a bit and do the next layer of it. Oh, yeah, mobile, I guess. But uh, I imagine if you're, like, streaming Twitch on the bus, that's got to be... Eating your data. Turtle wants to go for a boat ride. Alright. Starting to look nice again. Looking like a house. Now for the next part. I am pretty sure I need the same but in, in brick. And I'm probably going to need the same amount actually. So let's do that for now, and then I'll make more as I need to make more. Yeah, I'll just I'll just tear this down later anyway. Whoop. But yeah, I need access to the roof. Now the question is, how did I do my roof before? Because uh, the screenshots that I took didn't take screenshots of what I was looking at. I'm getting all these weird angles in them. Not sure what's up with that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to pop back over into the other world for a moment. But, uh... Let's just grab that then. Single player, Hardcore 3, don't F with creepers. Sadly, I did not follow my own <laughs> advice on that one. Yeah, let's see... Was it? Uh, oh yeah, I did a gate to keep villagers from getting in, but I don't think I need to do that. Um, I'm gonna take a picture of this inside. Actually, I'm just seeing if being flying is what was making it take weird screenshots. Well, we're gonna find out soon enough. Let's go back in. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, let's see if it actually made some decent screenshots this time around. Yep. Good. It made them It made them the way I was expecting it to make them. That was weird. I think those are just half slabs. Yeah, I think it's a half slabs, half slabs layered like that. I should have just taken some of it apart to see if I could remember how I did it. But let's go on that assumption. Whoops. Might take a break in a moment to go make some more cows. Because I am going to need all the, uh, all the leather I can get. Oh yeah, definitely need way more of those. Ha! Ha! Missed my water bucket. On that, well, it was probably the lowest stakes water bucket anyway, but... Huh. Let's go with that for now. I'll eventually get some nice slow fall on my boots. Probably like prot chest plate, blast prot pants might be the way to go. 
Cover me against turtles. Co- not turtles. I saw turtles and that's where my thought went. Cover me against creepers and other th- major threats. And I don't like always like how it does that. I'll be able to put my chest in and start moving my uh, horde of goodies into more organized chests. That'll be nice. I also got some birch going. That way I can make signs. Uh, maybe I'll go looking for glow squid and do that glow ink. Uh, what did I do with the with the uh, roof last time? Uh, strip right through the middle. Interesting. That well, looked good, so I'm gonna do that again. Actually, oh, it is wickedly windy out. I just got out of quarantine today, and this is what I get to see. <laughs> um, a miserable storm, that means I absolutely have to stay inside anyway. Uh, I'm going to need to cook some more sand. Oh, if only I had some more sand. Uh, let me just... Uh, yeah, let me just do that. I'll toss you back in there, that way you can still cook next. This is making great progress on going through all this crap. That's handy. I'll let I'll let that cook and um, oh, let's see what my wood supply is looking like. There's my birch. There's oak. I got lots of oak to work with. So I might as well start banging out some chests. Yeah, that's a good start. Eight chests. Um, gonna make some crafting tables. I'm wondering if I might shorten that. Kind of looks weird. Yeah, we'll see if it grows on me. Chests in the corners. through those already <laughs> definitely gonna need to make way more chests but uh, I've I've got plenty of wood available to me Let's see did I leave any in this one no it's all in this one now so I'll just take this there we go that should be lots I'll definitely have my enchanting centric stuff on this side. I like that. I've got my measurements right and it makes this all nice and even. And I can put, uh, well, the fireplace here and then other kinds of tool tables, crafting tables, that sort of thing here as needed. You know, the um, upgrading table, um, maybe blast furnaces, all, all kinds of stuff I can put there. Let's see how my glass is doing. That might be enough. Wait doesn't seem quite right to me but I also think I'm might it let me double check the screenies oh yes yeah, st ring of stairs okay well let's do that and then I think things are gonna line up better once I've ringed this with stairs Need any uh, any green guys walking up behind me while I'm trying to build? Speaking of keeping stuff from turning up while I'm working on things, there we go. Snuck my way right off of it. I'll probably need... Yeah, I'm going to need way more of these steps. Well, luckily, I got them.
Like anybody's ever gonna see the roof after I get down off of it. I'll take unnecessary water bucket clutches. I wonder how those would look. Do I have any other stone or is this... Oh, I have some smooth stone that I could do something with later. Oh, another light flicker. So far, uh, so far my internet's been remaining stable during this, which is great. There we go. Definitely gonna need more. I might even need to go dig up more cobblestone. We'll see how far this goes. Oh, right, I made it higher. Actually. Ugh. Not what I wanted. But uh, plan B here. I just realized I didn't need didn't even need to do that. Cause it already fits here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to wind up replacing that. Whoops. Well, my, uh... <laughs> my turtle sanctuary has been uh, very beneficial to the local turtle population. stairs because I gotta do another layer but at least with that it doesn't really matter what that section of roof is made of I don't really even need to fill it in but I'm gonna anyway it'll be better for the insulation Yeah, I have more wooden storage. I have more... don't think I need those for anything. One too many. Definitely need way, way more. But at least now I have a bit of a platform to stand on. Let's start like this. It's not going to be enough, but that way I don't have as many leftovers kicking around. Or at least that's the plan. Wow, I went through that way faster than I thought. I don't... Uh, no, I don't think that's quite half. I'll just make the rest of them then. I knew that one glass piece wasn't quite in the right spot. differently. Hmm. I mean, this seems almost too high. No, no, the, the screeny, the screeny has it. What did I perhaps? Hmm. Give me a moment. One, one. Oh, this this is one too low. I th Wait. Oh, Leo just lost power. Wait. Hmm. Hmm. One 
square. Yeah, it's definitely two blocks high. I might, maybe I got the height wrong here. Well, I'm going to modify this and it'll it'll more or less still work. But I'm not going to rebuild the whole house now. I might I might restructure it off stream if I'm feeling it. But even then that's a lot of work to do. Uh, I really don't have any more of those. All right. Guess I am going to do some digging. Actually, I just need a little bit of that. Drop that off in there. Drop that off in there. I don't need the oak slabs right now or the apple. I got two god apples. That's very, very handy. And I don't need that right now. Hang on to that, though. And cooked food. I think all my cooked food's in the auto smelt. I'll just grab that. And I'm going to whip up a quick stone pickaxe. All right, going to do some exciting stuff here, which is going to be digging out a lot of stone. Hopefully, uh, also maybe finding some iron along the way, because I'm going to hit it around here. If I go too much deeper, I'm hitting that deep slate, and I don't want that. And actually, for this mode... I should turn off Fulbright, because I want to keep things lit. Resource packs. Yeah. Magic Care Faithful are the only ones I need up right now. Um, I should probably track down the newest version of Faithful. Dang, it is messy out there. Would not want to be driving. I see the cars crawling by. Yeah, that, that gives me a better idea of what kind of spawns I might have to deal with. Eh, I'll start with this one. Reason being, I've got that diamond pickaxe. I can't remember if I got the diamonds from shipwrecks or where I got them. But I do have that diamond pickaxe that um, I can always use if I find more diamonds and need something to dig them up. stuff I'm looking for. I don't need dirt. But if I'm going to quarry it, quarry this out, hit a great big pocket of uh, granite. Eh, I can always raise the roof. Yeah, I'll keep track of it like this, and then once I've got a stack, I'll toss it into the auto smelt and then keep digging out more. I know, very exciting stuff here as I dig, as I'm, as I'm mining and crafting. It's exactly what it says on the tin. Alright, let's run these goodies upstairs. This guy. Eh. I'm gonna need more for that anyway. Actually, it'll be filled back in. I don't know why I bothered to do that. So, I've been giving some thought to uh, doing Saturday streams in addition to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday streams. I've noticed, um, especially when I try to do community events, a lot of folks have work, they have school, you know, all that, all that fun stuff that uh, takes away from your Monday to Friday. So I was thinking of doing uh, doing some more community centric stuff on Saturdays specifically. So it'd be you know contest eventually contest for prizes. Like I want to be able to give away stuff semi regularly, really. So it would be you know competitions of that sort of nature. Like maybe last person to survive rising lava wins. 
Uh, first person to beat the dragon when we're all random scattered, randomly scattered across the map wins. You know, that that sort of stuff. Uh, maybe maybe even some man hunts too, and just having a different uh, crew of hunters available. This is a big hunk of freaking granite. It's uh, not doing me a lot of favors here. Just gonna toss one of these in here. I might, uh, I might do something with the granite eventually. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a stone cutter villager who wants it. Then I can turn it into emeralds. There we go. Light that up a little bit better. Gonna blow up my shovel here in a moment. There she goes. Oh, well, I'm getting more stone available to me here now. Too bad you can't cook granite into something interesting. I mean, you can make smooth granite at the um, at the rock cutting, what you call it. I'm not good at remembering names. I'll just grab uh, the rest of this layer. And I'll head back up. That should probably be enough. There we go. And I'll just come back for more later. And just so I don't have zombies crawling out of my mind. It's actually not nearly as much as I thought I grabbed. Oh, she's nighttime out there. It got dark. I'm going to need to light up this area. Oh, dang. How the old auto smelt is looking with my rocks. There we go. That ought to give me some supplies. And I'm just making sure I haven't left any regular stone anywhere, but I think it's all here. I'll leave the uh, scaffolding. I could have made actual scaffolding, I'm realizing. I have so much bamboo. You know what? I'm going to do it. I've always wanted to use that block. Oh, look at this jerk dickhead. Yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Explode and ruin my run? Whew. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna harvest a little of this. How much do you need to make scaffolding, I wonder? Oh, no, you can't eat and look at your inventory at the same time. Real life I could, but not in Minecraft. Well, let's just see what it takes for scaffold. String! Huh. Okay. That's going to be a little trickier. I haven't really had any spidery encounters yet. I might have to let it be nighttime just so I can hunt down some spiders. Maybe I shouldn't have broken that up that fast. <laughs> ah, learning. Oh, I got three strings, so I can make some scaffolding. Oh, I should probably put both of these things in my inventory. <laughs> Actually, that's probably enough right off of that. I guess I'll have to make a bow at some point later. And if that's all the scaffolding I need... Not at all. How do you make scaffolding? What? How do you up? Oh, okay. Okay. I see how it is. You gotta crouch. Nice. 
right. What have I got here? Nothing. I don't know why I came up here. I like this, though. He also could be useful for clutching in the nether. Let's see what my rock collection is looking like. Well, I sure don't need that andesite. Can I build anything useful with andesite? Wait! No, that's stone. <laughs> Polished andesite? What does it take for a stone cutter anyway? And, ah, stone cutter. Three stone and an iron. Do I? Yeah, I have an iron. That's right, everything has stone in the name. Okay, well, I'll make that into polished andesite. And you can't make andesite bricks. Well, what, what good is andesite anyway? Ugh, all right. At least I can use this to make stone bricks that way. Uh, yeah, I think I needed slabs. Hmm. Come to think of it, I'm going to double check my measurements here. So if this goes up like that, that's in line with that. And I want this to be... Uh, yeah, I guess basically that, only I didn't want it to be there. So yeah, if I wanted to have that uh, look that I am going for. Scaffolding's right there and I just run off the roof. Ah, uh, yeah, let's... Yeah, I basically want it to look like it's kind of like contained in it. Like it's set like a gem. So I don't know if Leo will have power in time to stream later. If he does, I will be raiding Leo. If he does not, I will probably wind up raiding Filza. Uh, yeah, then that is one too high for the look that I want. Uh, I've got a few ways I can approach that, though. I'll save these for if I ever bother to off stream, take the whole roof apart and redo it to match it because I got things off by one block. So I'll keep that in my back pocket as an option. Also realizing I didn't need uh, those wooden risers in there and that might be why things... Actually, that's probably why things are off as much as they are is the wooden stuff threw me off. Actually, you know what? I might, I might, I might take care of this here then. So I can just put stone in that. Actually, it might still be the inside that's the problem. No, it's not. It is. It is the outside that's the problem. Perfect. I can fix this. I don't know why I put that back. I'm going to need to tear it down in a few minutes anyway. Yeah. Now that I'm realizing it's not as big a problem as I was trying to wrap my head around, I think fixing this now is going to make me happier with this in the long run. Also means I didn't really... Actually, I did in this case. Need to take those off. Good thing I didn't spend too much glass on that, because I might have to break that glass and redo it. Yeah, we'll see how she looks. Nasty out. It's one of the villages of three. There's two of three. There's three of three. Uh, this wound up being a pretty good spawn.
right, so now that I've dug all that out, I would need to fill this in with the stone, with the stone bricks. Let's see how they're coming along. That's not going to be, it might be enough. Is it just an outer, I don't think it is going to be enough. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be enough. Might need to check and see just how much stone I got left cooking. Hmm. I'm going to go dig a little more while it's cooking, just because that's, uh, that's going to be the safe play. I could also hollow out pockets anywhere along here if I want to. But I'm kind of hoping that I come across iron while I'm digging out the stone. I might as well just make all these. as well at this point make it line up with the rest uh, yeah I'll go lower first hopefully I will at some point hit a few nice pockets of iron while I'm in here and then eventually nice pockets of diamond down at diamond level or a nice juicy cave Let's take this upstairs. That's got to be enough. It's starting to get dark. Nope. You can only sleep at night. It's so close to being night right now. Come on. Come on. Wow. Eh, might as well work away at this a little bit while I'm, uh... <laughs> yeah, it needs to be... Actually, that means it doesn't need to be filled in. I'm a dummy. No, wait, that needs to be filled in. Never mind. I'm getting my some stuff mentally flipped here. I'll make myself a new pick. And finish fixing my little mistakes. I left my ne myself no stone. Oh, I have... I keep forgetting that you can use stone uh, deep slate as stone. There we go. Grab all that up. Probably have to tear this whole... Uh, Roof down, we'll see. I have to get up on the roof to get some of my, uh, some of my slabs. Starting to feel better about the amount of supplies that I've got here. I might even start uh, double slabbing to fill in those spots. That's another 24. Gives me the second stare. Whoop. <clears throat> it's not like this game mode needs me to pay attention to my surroundings in order to survive or anything, right? Don't 
don't know why I was crouching there. Habit, maybe? Somehow that's not gonna... I don't know, it's the exact amount because that's what I use to make it. Let me just consult the up top screenshot. Okay, so stairs. St is that stairs and slab, or is that more stairs? I think that's slabs. Mm, so if I put slabs here, like that, gives that climbing look that I'm going for. Even though, again, nobody's actually going to see the roof of this house. Right. The time where it would be convenient for them to come off together, and they're not. I'll have lots of stone slabs left. I might, be, might use them for some terraforming or something. Building blocks. Continue to work away at this. Well, I guess, really, that's the whole point of a chill stream, is I just pick away at my stuff with uh, no urgency. This house will have nice high ceilings. I'm glad I t went outside for a little walk this morning before it turned nasty. Is, uh, definitely wouldn't be enjoying the walk nearly as much now. It has gotten gross out. Pick up all these goodies. But yeah. And that's not even in a good spot. And now I have all these slabs for the next stage. Trying to remember if that's right. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. That is exactly what I want that to be. Been enjoying Book of Boba Fett so far. Been watching that every Wednesday. Well, all two episodes of it so far. I really like what they're doing with the world building side of things. I like that they're taking time to flesh out characters that were... Uh, not exactly fleshed out, more almost set-piece characters in the original movies. So I'm really liking that, uh, that type of storytelling. It's been a good watch. I love that they still do the beautiful artwork. Uh, yeah, that looks... Oh! Uh, interesting. Okay. Okay. On the, uh, on the previous house, I quartered it. I could, I, could, I could get behind that. And then I did this. And, uh, ah, that's where I put the rest of the torches. Keep creepers from spawning on my roof at night. I definitely am going to need more sand. Especially if I keep doing stuff like that. And by sand, I mean glass. But, uh, that, oh my god. Probably will result in me needing more sand. Uh, yeah. More glass. Okay. 
Let's just do that. Yeah, might as well place the seven that I got. some librarian trades going I could presumably trade for glass might as well make my kelp blocks while I'm waiting on that keep things going here I really cooked all the kelp, didn't I? Burning through that bamboo. I'll put one of these on each side. I'm going to need to hunt down some clay. Well, I assume with all this water... I can find some. If not, I can always go looking, try to find a lush cave. I know those have tons of clay. I almost said tons of cave, which, not technically wrong, but kind of a dumb thing to say. Ah, uh, shovel. I should take a shovel. I'm going to go dig up some sand from my usual spot. Where I've been digging up sand. I can always use a lot of the leftover materials from this to eventually build a trading hall. Get all my uh, get all my trading villagers nice and organized. Spend a bunch of time fishing for specific enchant books. If I do that, I'm going to need some kind of EXP farm, though, to sustain all those enchantments I'm going to want to get. This is probably lots. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't this be lots? I might, might do other things with glass later, so it doesn't hurt to have some. Unless it's just more EXP for me to harvest. Whoop! Thought I could jump. This poor chicken keeps getting kicked to the future. Alright, let's go up on the roof and do her up. Ah! That's annoying. Kitty. Oh right, you water log. Right, you can't you can't water bucket on these. Oh hey buddy, let's see what you're trading. If it's anything good, ah. it is not. Uh, do I have leads already? I do have a couple leads. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill you for your leads. Plus, I think you can craft leads anyway. It just needs slime blocks. Well, if he's drinking, I'm sleeping. Let's, uh, let's place these. Okay, so I just need to fill in this last one and the roof. Hmm. How did I... Oh, probably because one of these is not supposed to be stairs. 
Uh, it's supposed to be slabs, so that way I can place torches on it. So I'll just break these a third time. Actually realizing that means the this is going to be way thinner. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to do this different then. I'm not going to redo all that, especially where it's going to take me forever to have the glass for it. I am going to instead do this. It's not quite the original design that I had, but until such point as I do decide I want to put the time in to rebuild that, this will do for now. Uh, just need those last few pieces of glass. Yeah, actually this was supposed to be one more step up, and it was supposed to be slabs from this layer up. And then it would be a smaller roof to fill in, and I would have flat spots to place torches on on this level. But I mixed that up a little and made it two layers of uh, stairs because it kind of looked like two layers of stairs. Oh yeah, that's plenty of that for now. And that'll be plenty of that for when I rebuild this. Which, uh, I'll definitely do that part off stream. So I'll make it nice and presentable for now. <sighs> I am bad at placing blocks. Oh my god! Two more. Well, it's probably cooked by now. I have plenty cooked. This guy, I guess, just lives here now. At least they gave you lots of time to trade. I should harvest that and expand my carrot operation. Do I have potato? I probably don't really need potatoes. Whoop! Of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, I think. Yeah, no, one more. If I uh, built a little cage for this, I could harvest it with water. use carrots for trading, basic food, or I can make golden carrots later. Once I've got all the pearls I need, I can use all the gold I get for golden apples and golden carrots. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so I can actually start getting sorted. I'm going to take down the scaffolding for now. Seriously? Oop, didn't want to... That guy doesn't need a way up. Or his llamas don't need a way up. Uh-huh. I'll hang on to the bamboo for now. Beetroot seeds and potatoes. So I do have what I need to grow the rest of the crops. But I don't need the rest of the crops right now. If I get any farmer villagers that have trades that I want, I'll get those later. Uh, might as well do a quick harvest of wheat. Oh, hey, Eyeliar, thank you for the follow. I uh, hope you like what I'm bringing to the table here. Definitely uh, have all kinds of different <laughs> Minecraft-centric content. Uh, you know, I do Manhunt Mondays. I do um, what I'm trying to get Walkthrough Wednesdays going as a thing. That's the one where um, if I have someone available to participate, I take somebody who's never beaten vanilla Minecraft. 
Full screen instead of the weird TV thing. Yeah, I've been kind of, I've been kind of toying with that. I, uh, I like the idea of the design that I've got there, but uh, I'm starting to think that the screen being like that, it kind of makes it so that people can't see the details as well. So I'm, um, uh, I appreciate the feedback because that, that's just one more point in the column of maybe I'll, maybe I'll save the TV thing for if I'm doing retro games. And then it'll fit, but then I'll have to do an unstretched version. Might play around with my overlays a bit, a little when I get the creative bug. Uh, I guess that's it for now on these. So I'll feed my cows. Those two are interested, but not interested enough to move. Cows be glitchy. Right, went through it went through all of it like that cool now I can now I can do a harvest Whatever's going on in this corner. Plus, I finished the axe off. But yeah, I've, I have been considering changing up my overlays a bit otherwise, especially after having watched some other Minecraft streamers and seeing what they do. Definitely a lot less intrusive on the screen. More of a logo here, a little bit of a border spot for a webcam, bigger spot for chat. So, uh, that is something I've been, uh, sort of mulling over for a bit. So, that, that, really, your comment is helpful. It just gives me more of a push to actually go for that. Throw that in there. I don't need anything of that. Might even play around a bit with that over the weekend. We'll see if I've got, uh, participation in the Discord for... Um, Saturday shenanigans, I might run, I might run some Lava Rises competitions. If not, if, uh, next Saturday is more suitable for everyone, then I'll just start doing it then, and it'll be every Saturday that I do community-centric competitions. I'll post more information about it in the Discord, it'll be a thing where anybody can participate, and when I do ones that I give away prizes, anybody that participates is eligible for prizes as long as they don't cheat. So I'm um, still thinking of things to give away for prizes, but uh, I've got a few ideas floating around. I see I got logs for days. Uh, let's let's uh, organize my chests first. Where did I leave the birch? Could have sworn I saw a bunch of birch planks in one of yeah they're there. Some signs, label my chests, and then begin organizing them. All right, what do I want? Probably food tools. Uh, weapons. Armor. Plants. Uh, let's see. I know wood is going to be one of these. Uh, wood will be this one. Dirt, sand, gravel. Uh. Yeah, I think those are the only kind of stuffs like that. Rocks. Um, I'll put enchanting. 
And I'll make some more signs in a bit. Maybe this one will be miscellaneous. Get my hydrate on. And I can start bringing stuff in. <laughs> I got lots of sand. I wouldn't have needed to go digging for sand, it turns out. Not jumping right out at me, so I'll start grabbing rocks. If I'm putting miscellaneous in here, then I can do that. I'll consider scaffolding a tool. Uh, wood. Now that wind is really howling. Sand, uh, sandstone I'm treating like a rock because it functions similarly to rock blocks. Hmm. What else, what else, what else? Enchanting. Uh, that'll be, that'll be armor, tools and weapons. Oh yeah, I got lots of... I should be cooking the clay so that I can make bricks. Plants, 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 uh, rocks. Oh, I'm hearing somebody's... Uh, either si I'm hearing either sirens or somebody's car alarm. I can't really tell. But uh, it is pretty nuts out there, so it could easily be either one. Oh no, it's definitely sirens. Did I toss? No, I didn't toss anything in there. That wasn't supposed to go in there. Put that one in weapons as well. Uh, where did I put my plants box? Huh? Hey, I'm going to need one for ores and bars and all that. Miscellaneous. Huh? Food, technically. If that's empty, then I can just uh, take that one apart, move it inside. Exciting stuff. I'm going to have a box for fuel. I'll put that along the back here. I'll have it... Eh. Oh, we'll see. We'll see how far everything else goes. I'll have to get a label on the misc one. but a tool. Food. Uh, that should be for potion making. This one should be for bars and all that fun stuff. Which means I'll put fuel there. my wood situation. Eh, pretty good. That should be enough. Let's see, I was going to do enchanting. Um, what was I going to put in that one? Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll make miscellaneous one be the, the one next to the wood. That makes a bit more sense. And then I can have potions be here. Uh, yeah. Oh, 
Wait, buyers are ingots, dummy. <laughs> there we go. That'll be things that I build things out of. Uh, yeah. There we go. Toss the wood in there. Means fuel for this one. And let's see what else I have left. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. Placing and breaking a lot fewer signs than I was on Wednesday when we did the Minecraft randomizer challenge. I got lots of, lots of stuff for me to sort here. I think I might... Sh eh. Have white wool for a while. Oh, more clay. I should uh, I should cook that. If I'm going to be running this for as long as I'm going to be running this, I might as well give it a little more pep. I still have a source of lava over here. Okay, so all those are labeled. Egg, I'll classify as food. Since it can be mined, I'll put that there. Fuel can go here. And more rocks. We are getting nice and organized all up in here. couple of potions of water breathing. I'll stick the bone meal with the plants because that's where that's useful. I'm going to treat sand as a dirt, sorry, glass as a dirt thing. Tool. Didn't realize I had that many, uh, I'll hang on to one of those. Didn't realize I had that many saddles. She's all nice and sorted out over here. Hmm. I will wait and see. I might not need any, any more chests. But I am going to need to try to remember how I built that sweet fern fireplace. And recreate that. Hopefully with a little more success than I've been trying to recreate this stuff because I keep getting mixed up on something. What does... Oh yeah, I put a little, uh, put a little ledge sort of step up here. Yeah, that makes sense with the, uh, with the way that looks. Okay. Well, I'll do some of the framework now for the f wrong one. For the fixing it I'm going to have to do later. Is it really? Yeah, it's just too high. <laughs> Which means I'll have to redo a few things with the roof, but uh, I didn't want to just go and do that after cooking all that glass. That can be an off-stream project. Oh my god. But 
For now, this will this will serve as a reminder that I got to do that later. Just gonna real quick make sure I know where my cords are so when I go out exploring I can find my way home. Because I'm thinking after I finish up a bit more uh, tidy work I might go do some exploring. Right, I have that I just need. I'll take these. Oh hey Pennell, welcome to the stream. Um, How's the how's the interesting weather treating you? Is it a bit of a crap show out there today? Where did I put fuel? There's where I put fuel. I'll take one charcoal and three of those. Wait, yeah, that doesn't work that way. Let me figure out how do I make even. Yeah, like that, that works. Uh, lost power and uh, the PC died. Ah, oh, well, that, an that answers the question anyway. I was asking about how the uh, how the uh, unsettled weather is treating you, but if you've lost power while I was asking you the question, I'd say that gives me a pretty good answer. Uh, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Nice. And then on this side, bop, bop. I need actually more coal, charcoal. Have I cooked charcoal? Let me see if I've got any charcoal cooked up. I do not. All right, so good before I use the regular coal because some villagers will take it as a trade. Thirty-six. That should be plenty. Yeah, it was pretty comedic timing. And this is far enough away that uh, villagers aren't showing up looking for my job blocks. So I don't have to set up the pressure plate gate for a door. I can use an actual door. I might still put pressure plates on them, though, on the uh, for the exit, because that makes things convenient. Nope. It's two, three. Yeah. Then I don't have to worry about uh, shutting the door behind me no matter which way I go through. I'll hang on to a little wood. Actually, I will need a bunch of wood to uh, relocate my bookshelves. Wait. Psh, muscle memory. Yeah, I have a pretty good idea where I want this to move. Myself a nice fancy enchanter. Oh yeah, that's I can organize that now. So, for starters, uh, trying to figure out a good spot to put it that it's not. Uh... Yeah, that seems that seems good. What am I up to today? Um, right now, just uh, doing my hardcore world stream, enjoying that. Uh, Otherwise, you know, 
pulling up, avoiding the weather, <laughs> enjoying being out of quarantine by continuing to not go anywhere. So, you know, all that fun stuff. Do I have books or do I have, uh, oh, I don't, I don't have planks either. Might have to do another harvest off of the trees. I gotta get used to uh, where I have placed stuff. Do I have? Is it in my misc? Thought I had. Uh, thought I do have some books floating around, actually. Yeah, I have. I'm gonna have to definitely do a harvest. I just realized I do not have near enough to remake all those. But I want a nice wooden floor here. Yeah, that's looking good. UPS on the modem and <laughs> router. I really need to pick that up. At the very least for when you get power flickers and it keeps it from knocking out your power. Keeps it from knocking out your internet, rather. Okay. Well, let's make as many books bookshelves as I can. I know I don't need as many as I wind up making for this sort of thing. Because I think it's probably already, yeah, level 30 already. I just like filling it in and making it look cool. Maybe I will put doors on the front this time as well. Who knows? I could probably make a proper entrance as well. Yeah, actually, I think I might. But I'm going to need to get some wood to do that. Yeah, I need to pick up uh, UPS for the modem and the router especially, and a UPS for my gaming rig itself would be nice. That way, I don't have to worry about what all the power flickers do to it. You know, try to avoid bad sectors. Or if they uh, have UPSs that are beefy enough that you can just keep gaming off of them for a few hours, act like there's no power outage. Imagine they'd be expensive. There we go. That should be lots. Now I have some more stuff inside. Oh, right. That's going to take some getting used to. So for my enchanting, I'll put the paper in with it too because that's an enchanting ingredient. Oh, I didn't know I had that many scutes. Scoots. Not sure if it's scoots or scutes. All right. Where did I put leather? Yeah, it is going to take me a little bit to get used to the wear of everything. I'll save five books just for fishing for enchantments. Oh yeah, that's plenty. I can make some uh, podiums too. Hmm. You know what? I will do this this way. And might seem a little unnecessary, but I like to make a roof of sorts, like a little archway almost for this. So that'll be that one, which means I will need to make one more. That'll be that one. Oh. 
Yeah, there we go. And then I can gradually fill that in on the sides. Again, completely unnecessary, and I don't think offers any benefit to the enchanting process. But I like the look of it. here. I'm going to grind up some cows in a minute. Costco membership. Uh, oh, yeah. I actually, I actually do need to get my Costco membership stuff sorted out and go there. I imagine they have the best price on most things. The problem is when you buy a UPS, when you go shopping at Costco for a UPS, is what do you do with the rest of the six-pack? They want to crush themselves. Whoop, get out of my way so I can feed other cows. Being very greedy here, this particular cow. Is that just... I mean, they, they can't get out, right? Yeah, I, need, I do need to. Snow is... Um, well, it hasn't knocked my power out yet. Unlike some folks, for instance, I know Level Up Leo, I was going to raid him when his stream got over. But his power is currently out, and I don't know if it'll be back in time for him to go live. So, I've had a few flickers here, but haven't actually had the power conk out full, full on here. It hasn't been enough of a flicker to even really knock my internet off. Knock on wood. Uh, I mean, if the stream ends, you'll you'll know why. Yeah, actually, Penel came on, and I was asking Penel how the storm was treating him, and the power went out for him. So, comedic timing there. I live really close to a main Nova Scotia power facility, though. I think I might be getting the blessed wonder grid here. Ah, I think I'll take a bit of a break at 4 o'clock, get myself a snack, refill my water, stretch, all that important stuff when you're gaming for a while. All the stuff that I totally definitely do when I'm gaming off stream. Yeah. You just. Where did, um. Where did the leash go? Where did the leash go, buddy? Hmm. I mean, they, 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 they follow each other around by mechanism anyway, but I wish I had been around to pick up that leash. <laughs> oh yeah, we're back to burning off the, uh, the bamboo. I might as well cut another harvest of it. grows so fast. You used to be able to make uh, basically zero tick bamboo farms that kept you constantly cooking, but uh, they changed how they, how bamboo growth works a little bit. Like it's already regrowing before I've even finished cutting it here. Been none at your work. Small shack outside the main building. The shack might have backup shack up power as well. Generator. Whoop. There we go. Keep going in the, uh, the real cheap, easy fuel. All right, what do I want to do now? Maybe a little bit of exploration. 
Yeah, I might do a little exploration of the surrounding area. I went out to sea on a previous, either on a previous stream or while I was doing some offline, but I try to keep my exploration to on stream. No customers the entire time. As long as you have heat and internet, you're fine. Yeah, I can relate there. Heat and internet, pretty important. Oh, look at these guys. Look at these guys over here. Up to no good. They're making trouble in the neighborhood. Well, I am about to go get in one little fight. Because I don't want these guys picking off my villagers. I mean, I haven't really established this as my village. This is also the third raiding party that has spawned in this. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Huh? Whoop. Come on. Come on. Come get me. Come get me. Yeah. Yeah. Away from the village. You could, you could probably UPS a little space heater for five minutes. Haha, <laughs> that's right. Kill your buddy. Kill your buddy. Come on, out of town. I don't wanna. I don't wanna trigger a um, a trigger a raid right away when I'm off the one guy. We have to start building a fence around the village. That might be my next big project: is uh, making sure the village is safe. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, they're they're kind of keeping a steady stream going at me. Ow. Uh, just a little further away to make sure he's not too close. Come on. Yeah, I know you, yeah, you want a piece of me. I'm ready to watch my Manhunt Monday stream. 4.8 thousand points. Yeah. Uh, what is in that range? Ah, yeah. Ban and in-game action could make things tricky during a Manhunt. Oh, well, makes things tricky any of the time. And there we go. That's why I keep cows. And I get yet another one of these banners. And that doesn't that doesn't look too bad, actually. I mean it completely blocks the light from the torch, but if I'm building a porch here, I might do that differently anyway. Plus I got those lights. Yeah, I think I'll do that with a couple of these. Uh, I think it looks better there, actually. What? Oh, that's weird. Ugh. There we go. That doesn't look too shabby at all. Well, if I'm doing a porch, it's going to be slabs. <laughs> I've been left clicking. That doesn't count as an in-game action. An in-game action would be, say, no mining or no eating, no using your water bucket sort of thing. It's more what I have in mind for that one. Uh, banning right click and left click would mean all I can do is run. And then someone bans run. Band jumping, need to carry ladders, yeah. I mean, it is it is a timed thing. Just want to let you know, of course, it is for the next five minutes from using it. Yeah, ban living also doesn't count for, I would say, the same reasons. Uh, now that goes directly against the mechanics and intent of a manhunt. Or really a hardcore chat, anyway. I might put... Maybe an expensive one, like a 50,000 uh, that's, you know, kill yourself in-game immediately kind of redemption. I don't know. I don't want to start making dark themes here. So I don't know if necessarily having a redemption that says kill yourself is the most tasteful thing. That uh, would probably be taken. And stream redemption, yeah. Yeah, I would. Well, I mean, I would. I would make it more expensive for hardcore worlds. 
Oh, why am I trying to fill that in like that? Yeah, I like the looks of that. Okay, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm liking, I'm liking this. Make myself some fencing for my porch. I'm going to need lots of fencing anyway. I think it's the other way around, though. Yeah, I think it's these guys. Yeah, I would make it like 100,000 points. Kill yourself during hardcore run. I might expand this porch, actually. That looks nice, though. That uh, gives it a nice, quaint, housey look to it. Yeah. And I might as well just slap down some of these fences right now. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five. Space, one, two, three, four, five. Reverse my key bindings, yeah. I would have to have like a ready to go preloaded key binding to make that practical. Otherwise, it's like spending <laughs> spending a good hot minute just reassigning keys. But actually, that's not a bad way to do. I wonder if there's a program where you can just reverse gamer key bindings, like the main default ones, something that does the work for you. And that would be for any WASD application. Might look into that at some point. I still have one more ominous banner. Where should I put it? Uh, uh, it's not bad. A Razer keyboard. No, I've got a Logitech. I've got the, uh, where does it say on here which one this is? It doesn't even say which one it is on the uh, keyboard. I think it's the M320, something like that. Uh, keyboard, it was a keyboard and mouse combo. It's just a really nicely shaped keyboard. So I think, yeah, it is the M3, the M320. Uh, they still they still make them, which is cool because I bought my first M320 um, over a decade ago easily, and I thought by the time I went around looking for another one, they would have discontinued that. But no, they've just uh, streamlined a few things with them, which is actually nice because I like this great big keyboard. I don't like some of the other keyboards that they've suggested that feel just a smidge too small. Oh, it's not exactly a serious business gamer keyboard, but it is comfy. Okay, so my window is starting to clear up a bit. I do see it's looking pretty greasy out. A lot of snow down, cars crawling. Let's see, I got sticks, I got wood. Leather, which I will toss in. Uh, I'll put that in enchanting for bookmaking purposes. Uh, might actually do another run of cat. Whoop. All right, yeah, it's over here. That's the problem with making everything all nice and symmetrical is you mix up the front. Your office near me lost power an hour ago. There's about eight, six, in six inches of snow. Damn. Damn. That's uh trees are bent over and touching the road. Yeah, I think you're getting a little harder than I am right here, at least from what I can see, but it is still I wouldn't want to be driving in it, I will say that much. I wouldn't want to go outside with the wind howling the way it is. Oh hey, I hit, hit level thirty off of feeding my cows. I wonder what murdering them will get me. That was a bad one. Eight, nine, ten. I really should get looting and streamline this a bit. Huh. 
I wonder if you can get looting. I don't have enough to make a good sword, so enchanting a sword is not uh, not on the hit list quite hit list quite yet. Yeah, no, it is enchanting. Boop boop boop. Book. Seven books, which is two more bookcases. Nope. Food goes here. Food goes here. I'll, I'll save some raw beef for now. I won't cook all of it. Yay! Uh, I'll need way more, but I can do that later. Just gonna freshen up some of my tools. I think I'll leave that uh, iron axe in a chest for now so I don't accidentally break it. Because I can always come patch that up later. But I don't care nearly as much about the stone one. And I got enough to make another pickaxe if I need it. Uh, that is a mighty fine looking house now. I'm feeling good about it, except for the roof, which I'll redo another time. See, I don't—I actually don't have a lot on deck to cook off anymore. I'm just gonna let it run out of juice, and once it's uh, once it's run out of run out of all that, I can harvest that and get a crap ton of exp out of it. Uh, what I need next is actually. Just a ridiculous amount of fence. I gotta fence in my village and make it nice and safe for my villagers. Save them from the pillagers. Or the illagers. Because uh, they keep coming along looking to cause trouble. I've had some playthroughs where I never see a roving band of them, and in this playthrough, I've seen three or four that I've had to deal with on here. I know what I'm definitely enchanting, though, is this helmet. Gotta make this helmet the most... Do I have a bell anywhere? I think there's a bell in the village. Because it's a natural spawn village, I haven't really done much to it, so it's got to have their their usual bell. Although if people want to go to my YouTube page, which is also called This Is Me Gaming, they could ring that bell. I'm planning on actually making videos above and beyond just the VOD uploads. For instance, Monday's Manhunt Monday, I think, will be a suitable first one to really uh, cut my teeth on video editing. Uh, here we go. Lots of that. Lots of that. This should be all the fence. Oh, it actually didn't go nearly as far as I thought it would. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need so much. Oh, villagers with my house. No, I don't live in the village. I live just outside of the village. This way, the villagers are not coming over, trying to sleep in my bed, trying to get into my job blocks. I wanted to give myself a little bit of distance from them for those reasons. Because I've built closer to a village in the past, and they have, they have been annoyances. I got lots of dirt. I can fill some of this in. Level off the village. Just saw on Facebook there's an electric pole down across the road in Waverly. Oh, hey! Nice! I need to set up. I need to remember to set up some bit alerts because I have some fun custom ones in mind for various bit thresholds. Thank you for the cheer, though. I'm going to set up a bunch of fun ones, I think. I forgot that was a thing I could customize. I'll probably do one that's uh, the over 9,000 meme. So if somebody 
If somebody cheers 9001 specifically, it'll trigger that one. I think that one will be fun. Yeah, right now it would just be the stock alert, stock sound. I like it's a, it's a fun sound though. Can't can't say I uh, can't say I really get any complaints about the sound effect. Although this is probably why they suggest that I put a cooldown on those particular ones. But uh, I didn't. It's like I didn't want to discourage people from cheering me bits. Like if people want to give me a penny at a time and do it like 20 times, and uh, you know I'm not gonna say don't do that. Don't give me don't give me your pennies because at some point, as I probably mentioned a few times, I wouldn't mind doing this as a way to pay my rent rather than rather than um, you know desk job that would be great and then it goes from there from paying rent to having more money to throw at contests and giveaways and all the good stuff that I want to do all the like I want to be like I want to do Mr. Beast style stuff eventually where it's like whoever builds the best Minecraft car wins a car kind of thing like I, I would love to be able to do that and you know, actually give somebody a car for being good at Minecraft. Those are definitely my kind of jam. <laughs> oh, she getting rainy. She getting rainy. Actually, it is coming up at my targeted uh, first break. Actually, only break, usually. I don't tend to take two. So I think I will take a bit of a break here now. Um, you've dabbled in editing. All right. All right. At some point, I am hoping to actually make enough money off of this that I can hire somebody to do editing. Because, again, you know, creating jobs like that off of this is something I'd love to do. You know, get a few other people out of the office job and into doing stuff with video games. Hydrate. Yeah. Spent a hundred power level on that on that sip of water. I should do a few different ones. Actually, yeah, here here is before I get caught up auto doing this some more, is I'm gonna go and take a bit of a break. I'll come back at 420. At which point I will resume, you know, just chilling in my hardcore world. And TNT guy, yeah. Yeah, as we saw, it uh, took something like, what, 10 minutes for all the TNT you placed to finish exploding? Yeah, that was fun. It's, it takes me way back, way back to the early Minecraft days, just messing around with TNT and creative. Weird nostalgia, really. All right, yeah, so I am going to switch her over to break mode. Uh, whoop, wrong window. Here we go. I'll throw it up to be the hydrate break. And I will throw on the song that it says I'm going to be throwing on there, which is the Pig Step Jazz Arrangement. It's by Insane in the Rain Music, featuring Lena Rain, who is a fantastic composer for video games and stuff. Uh, where is my extended break? There we go. So... I will be back at 4.20 uh, Nova Scotian time. Here we go.
Alright, I'm just gonna pause her there. I am back. Uh, apparently, a good, good chunk of the city is actually currently without power. That's pretty nuts. I've been lucky so far. Glad that I'm living on the magical wonder grid here. It's starting to get dark outside, so I imagine it'll hit nighttime real soon. Yeah, there we go. So I've, uh, while I was away, I want to see if it shows up. There we go. I've added a new point redemption, name a mob. And uh, that's very specific to Minecraft. In this case, I would say it really is only applicable to any sort of long-running world, such as a hardcore world, that sort of thing. The idea being, I would make it my business to acquire a name tag and put the name of your choice on the name tag. And then apply that name to the mob of your choice. That's how that redemption would work. So, uh, got that all set up in the points option. I set it at 10,000, which I feel is reasonable. It gives people who are invested in the stream a priority on picking the names. Kind of helps mitigate abuse, makes it so that it comes up commonly enough, hopefully, but not... Like, to the point where it's a detriment to a run. Plus, gives me time, because I don't even have a source of those yet. And I don't really have an anvil set up, either. Oh, do I have an anvil set up? I might have an anvil set up over there. My memory's iffy. Gonna flatten this. That way, this will give me a good spot to expand my village. Eh, I don't want to expand. Actually, yeah, that's the other thing, is containing this in a fence will also help keep the villagers out of my shit. Gonna make another one. Uh, so I guess I am doing a little bit of terraforming here today. Didn't do too bad getting as far as we did without having to do it, but I want to be able to see what's going on in the village from my house. And I can't really do that with this little bit of a hill. I'm definitely in the lucky area of not having a power outage because huge, huge chunks of the city are out right now. Yeah, I should plug my phone in just in case. Yeah. I also have a nice array of power banks all charged up, but none of them are really enough to power say, a laptop or, uh, well, my gaming rig, anything like that. I'm going through these. This will give me lots of dirt blocks. I can use that to fill in any uh, pitfalls, that sort of thing that I find in the village. Try to keep my dummy villagers alive. So, at least if things go wrong, I've got two different backup villages. I've already flattened that a lot for the moment. I'll probably do a chunk of that off stream. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this, I think. Get 
gonna need to find some sh oh actually i have a ton of wool i won't need to worry about that i'm gonna make some carpets so that i can get in and out and my villagers cannot get in and out Are the piles and piles of fences that I've made go but judging from what I've seen so far not very oh. <sighs> twice there we go yeah yeah you're gonna need to get inside buddy also what were you doing way over there anyway huh there's not there's nothing over there for you I'm pretty sure I'm just <laughs> workbenches that I'm leaving around everywhere. Okay, so there is that. I can sort of bend around that. Huh. Grass. That seems like a good spot to cut that in. I have a shovel. What am I doing? Just making sure somebody doesn't wander off of it. You can, you can feel free to go back inside of what I'm establishing as the town limits, though. And these chickens can be exiled. Go on, go on. Power's back, nice. Hopefully that is the start of many more power restorations. Maybe even uh, level up Leo might be able to salvage a scream. Here's hoping. Hey. Get out. Actually, I'll, I'm not going to spend a bunch of time fighting to get a chicken outside. There's no way that the chicken would be worth it. A lot of trees here. I'm starting to wonder if I planted these previously, actually. <laughs> I might I might have, I think at some point I was in this general area with a handful of random trees to plant. Figured, oh, I'll leave myself some wood for later. Once that all falls apart, it's going to make doing this a lot easier. Uh, is that villager? The, the, yeah, the, oh, yeah, they're all over there meeting. To answer your question, yes, there is a bell. Uh, now that we've gotten direct eyes on the bell. But yeah, I knew, that, I knew there was because it was a natural village. Trying to make it so that mobs can't parkour in and out of here. I mean, for such is the limit of mob parkour, but sometimes you wind up with, say, you wind up with golems on the outside when you don't want them to be on the outside.
Oh, that's lots of sticks. How do I not have... Oh, they're making more villagers. Okay. I'm uh, surprised you have the space for that. Nope, they don't have the space for that. All right. So then they're just recreationally. I am hearing ha <laughs> salt nice. It is getting dark. Crank out another batch of these. And eventually what I'm gonna Yeah, I might as well just tear that house down and shuffle them in to that area. That'll help condense the radius a bit too. That'll be a plan. I won't have to tear the house down itself, but I will need to break the bed and put it somewhere else. Get him closer to his job block. That'll help keep them from uh, wandering out quite so far. This could be lodging. I mean, I'm eventually going to be making big houses to uh, encourage the villagers to make more mans. Hmm. That's, uh, that's weird, right? Like, I'm assuming he wants that job block and he's glitched out and not getting at it. Yeah. See, I don't know why, I don't know why that's like that. accessible for them. You don't need a chimney. Plus, it gives me an excuse to place that bed. Thus condensing the layout of the city a little bit. And then, look at Buddy over there. Where, where are you going? They won't go via the water. Well, then, yeah, they, I can't see them swimming out of bounds here. That'd be weird. So I won't fill it all in. At least cur won't currently fill it all in, but if I find my villagers getting away there, then I don't really need access to the water that badly. that trying to figure out where the furthest over house is you got bees that's convenient I think I can cut through this and uh, do it up like that actually just had an idea I already don't know where I put that one so I'm just gonna make another one Really, I am gonna run out of axe. I gotta set up some uh, emotes for bit cheering as well. Because it does give me the option to set emotes for specific bit thresholds. Give you a lot of customization when you hit uh, when you hit affiliate. I've noticed. Cut down them trees. Uh, I'm I'm good on inventory space. I won't I won't run out. I'm gonna have to make a trip back to the hut at some point soon. Unload uh, at least a lot of this dirt. Uh, 
that's going to fill the inventory up, though. You know what I don't really need are wheat seeds, because I have a wheat farm and can have so many seeds from that. All right, crap, it's one of these trees. They are a pain in the butt to clear. See how I'm going to get that one easily. Okay. This is this is not this is not the worst. It is pretty bad. There's definitely more of the thing though. Yeah, I'll do it like this. There, that should take care of that. I think I got all the connected bits. Got myself trees for days here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make a quick little run back over. Also that yeah, that seems like a good spot to change that direction over. Unload a ton of this. Look at that sweet house. I don't need to close the door manually. I keep doing that. It's going to take me a little to get used to that. Chucking some rocks. There we go. Unload a ton of stuff that way. You know what? While I'm here. Are you just a natural spawn cow or did you get out? Not the first time I've asked that question. I'm pretty sure they can't get out. Taking this. And I am going to slap some enchantment on this. Unbreaking is not bad. Prot 3 unbreaking 3. Okay, I will graciously accept that. Keeps my hat in the game a little bit longer. Was kind of hoping to pick up some respiration on that, but, uh, you know, can't complain too much because it's still a pretty good enchant. And besides, I've got a couple more of these. For, um... I definitely don't have an anvil. Yeah, I don't have enough iron for an anvil. But uh, that does... Fire pro... <laughs> yeah, nope. See if there's any... Eh, nope. Well, I can leave that where it is for now, then. But I eventually do want to get respiration on this, so that way I can spend a lot of time underwater if I need to. Here I go, bouncing along.
swear that one broke. Can they just not be next to fences? Also starting to get dark again. Go. More good here. Um, so how many weeks, months, years? Uh, I think I started in November sometime. I'll have to double check that. I guess I'll grab these because they're going to be in the way. And I don't exactly need the, ba the bales of hay between the farm that I've got going on and the bales that I've already got in chests, but uh, I'll still take them. They won't go entirely to waste. At some point, I'll probably use them to grind out farmer traits. What is the uh, town limit? All right, I can, I might need to widen that a little bit. Oh, if only I hadn't taken all my blocks away to, to another location. Ah. Started to cut down a tree and then uh, get distracted. I'll have to check later. I de definitely threw. Um, do I narrate to myself when I am not streaming? It's always been about 50 50 on that anyway. But uh, I think I tossed my first VODs up on YouTube, so knowing the date of that would be pretty much. All right, let's see. This is me gaming. So videos go to my oldest upload here. Oh, it looks like the oldest stuff is one month ago. I don't know if that was the first streams, though. I do know we got November 15th VOD, which... Probably, which I can't remember if the first stream I did was exploring the Elation Station server or if I did that as a follow up one, but that is the first dated VOD that I've got on there. a 
bit of dirt to uh, fill that in the way I want to. Actually, we'll see how far this goes. Oop. Yeah, that'll be perfect. They, they don't need access to this. Might as well look around for stuff that's in the village for me to uh, level off with the shovel. I don't want to ruin my uh, exit options, actually. up a little eventually i'll mow all this grass that'll be real exciting stuff so i will definitely do that off screen off stream uh, nobody needs to see me other than any grass that happens to be along the way when i'm going and doing something all right yeah let's fill this all in I think that's that's really the uh, town limits here, which gives me this. Oh yeah, right. yeah. I remember the yeah that was a post-apocalypse based story. Um, I I do remember the Randy Newman thing. That was a that was kind of that was, that was a good bit. He was he wasn't just narrating it, he was narrating it in song. Alright. Making spots to put fence. Okay. There we go. That gives me a bit more. Yeah, that needs to be deeper. Or more filled in, rather, not deeper. Three quarters of the time when I say something, I don't quite know what I'm talking about anyway. I just say say whatever comes out. Uh, yeah, I'll have it step down there. I guess I'll eventually flatten this whole thing. Well, that's that's enough. Why don't I fill this in with fence as I go, and then uh, use dirt as I need dirt? Then I'll know if I need more dirt. Definitely, I'm going to need more of these. All right, let's take this one, go a little further with it. I want villagers to still be able to get around. I just don't want mobs to get in and murder them. Hmm. I should widen that, actually. That way, it's going to be at least too wide for an iron golem to maneuver. And I want to make sure that the iron golems can get at any threats to the villagers. Uh, 
we, yeah, we, we all know I'm going to need more fences. Like, way more fences. I have plenty of wood for making them. go a ways yeah that's definitely a nice little shot of fences there and then I'll put torches on them so that way I can create a nice uh, sort of barrier of light around the village keep skeletons from coming right on up to it Minecraft but the mob table is randomized uh, oh yeah, I guess they're ev making everything have random spawn conditions. That would be interesting. It means if you're going to the nether, you're probably not going to the nether for blazes. Hmm. As long as it doesn't put blazes in the end. Could you imagine if blazes swapped with endermen and then uh, you go to the end and it's just a sea of blazes? don't know if that would be beatable. No, I mean, I guess you, you, you'd have to make good use of fire prot. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. You come, you get back in here, mister. This is your home. Get in your home. I'll put you in a boat, so help me. realize what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, I was going to cross this spot. Nice. Village full of shulkers, yeah. Well, you, you'd be all set for storage, but trading not so much. Imagine though, you're in a cave. It's dark. Suddenly you look around. You're surrounded by iron golems. Come on. Come on. This is not your job block. You have a job block in the village. Yo. Hey. Yeah. Go to the end to fight the, fight the rabbit. Yeah. Meanwhile, some village farm is very confused by having a pen full of uh, pen full of dragons. That would be chaos, actually. That would be hilarious. I don't think it would be beatable. Well, I guess it depends on what kind of restrictions are put in place for the actual randomization, but it would be entertaining chaos. Which one could argue is better? Right, yeah. Good thing I cooked some wood into uh, stuff earlier. Yeah, stuff. Charcoal. As I learn, I remember what things are called when I'm not concentrating on doing a thing. Oh no, my uh, workbench is all the way over there. Uh, how many sticks? That's not enough sticks. If I can find some uh, dark oak, I can really grind out that stick trade. Eh, I'll do a little exploring later. See if I can at least bring home some dark oak sac saplings. All right. I think that's all nice and filled in and walled off and nobody should be able to get out. 
So the next part will be building access points for myself. Which is going to be all the wool I have. And it's probably going to make me want to raise some sheep. Well, I know I know I can get sheep around in these plains. So in the misc is 28 white wool, which I don't actually need. Boom, 42 carpet. Can't tell if the storm is chilling out or not because it's getting too dark to see it now. Crack my window open and see if I get wet. Nice. So I'm pretty sure that I'm the only one that is able to use these to get in and out of the village. I am going to have to remove this, though, because mobs can definitely walk on it and get in. Boop. Boop. I never know where I might feel the urge to get in or outside of these walls, so I'm giving myself lots of options. Oh, that, right, right, right. It goes in the way. It has calmed down. Okay. That, that makes sense. I mean, we are through the part where it's supposed to be calming down. Uh, if people are getting their power back, then uh, Nova Scotia Power must think at least that it's supposed to be more or less done soon. I know I'm not going to ever jump off this side and go into the water there, but uh, still, leaving myself the options. This is going to need to be... Uh, I'll just make him higher, I think. But, nope. What am I doing? I was about to break that down so I could get outside. Which, not the smart play when you're slapping carpet around to make entering and exiting easier. There we go. Now they're not... I mean, I can get out this way, but they can't, which is what's important. Keep all these dummies alive. Yeah, just in case... They do go through it. <sighs> Guess I'm going to have to fill that in after all. Ah, good job. Awesome. All right. You're going to go back inside your village, right? Where are you going? This is not, this is not where I want you to go. Go in, go in, go in. In the village. In the village. In the village. I got enough fence. Yes! There. Now they can't get out anywhere. Eventually, I'll be rebuilding a bunch of these buildings to be more efficient for villager housing, villager reproduction, that sort of thing anyway. So I won't really have to worry too much about the existing houses, and then I can get those outlier houses and sort of condense everything so that the town radius is a bit smaller. It'll make managing things like raids a bit easier when I eventually want to try to farm those. I'll just, uh... Oh, that seems good. I'll save the rest of these for over on my farm. So, up next, I should have grabbed some charcoal when I was back at my base. 
But what I'm going to... I shouldn't have put that there. Because I want to put that there. Ah, oh, that's good. I'll we'll start by trying to get all the major corners. And then I will fill in between them. Well, I will run back and get more charcoal so that I can make a bunch of torches. And then I'll be filling in between them. I want to make sure skeletons aren't just spawning outside the village and taking pot shots at the golems who will no longer be able to reach them. And I am eventually going to need all these trees out of the way for new buildings and for better torch coverage. Plus, uh, having those logs gives me something that I can turn into charcoal. There, now those will break. Definitely going to need to go get a new axe made while I'm on my way over. But I think I'm going to hit the hay first here. Also, why why do they put... Why, why do you put a... Um, why do you put a tree in a fence? That's weird. No? Yeah. I see that farmer has a beetroot trade, so I guess I'm growing beetroot. That'll give me some more fencing and such for later. Since the gate blends in too easily, I'm just going to feed that one to the auto smelter. Oh, there we go. Just got one more to break, though. All right. And yeah, I put that. I put those there to uh, get some specific trades going. I shouldn't just hang around with that in my hand. Uh, speaking of the auto smelter, I might as well, first of all, take that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's that EXP. And it's just shooting right into the thing. There we go. Why is it... What? Oh, it was in the hopper. Right, that... Just toss you back in there. Oak fence gates can go in there as well. They'll burn eventually. I might put an enchantment on my chest plate. It's not going to be my final chest plate, but... Uh... Probably slapped it, slapping something good on it will be very helpful, I imagine. No way, King goes uh, enchanting. I'll hang on to the fence. I'll put that as misc. Did I leave myself anything in the fuel box? Regular coal. I don't want to use that. That'll give me a few more. Now, 
I need those so that I can make fresh tools because I've blown out a shovel as well as an axe. Oh wait, I was gonna do some enchanting right now. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that too, just in case I see something good for the helmet, rather than seeing anything. Fire prod, nope. Uh, unbreaking three, that's gonna give me probably another prod three. I feel like that'll be the exact same outcome as before. I'm gonna need to make a grindstone. Thorns too. See, that's a little bit better. So when I pick up a level, which I'm pretty close to already, I can get some thorns too. For now, I'll put that in there, but I'm going to want a grinder. Actually, what does it take to make a grindstone? I don't already know it, so it means it's something I haven't made or had yet. means it's probably some kind of slab maybe regular stone slab I think do I have any regular stone or have I turned it all into brick uh, yeah I've turned it all into brick well I really only need three of it so I can just uh... oh of course course there we go I'll put this one here and then I'll put an anvil there later now I can uh, wait now I want to grind the piercing off of this which of course is not enough to get me that level back but, uh, I'll come back for that later. Where did I put my shovel? I know I just made a shovel. <laughs> of course I did. Of course, of course I did that. Okay. Let's continue, uh, clearing out trees and placing torches. Eventually, I'll have a nice big uh, trading hall built here for the village. Oh yeah, there's a cow in this one. Sorry, buddy, you are not long for this world. All this, all this fencing is definitely going to come in handy, though. Because I still have... At the very least, I do want to get a chicken pen going. So, uh... Actually, I don't know why I would need a chicken pen, really, once I get the stick trade. Hmm. I will shelve that. But I do need a sheep pen, so that way I can make lots of wool to do lots of uh, village shortcut, exit shortcuts. Whatever you would call placing the wool like that so you can jump over it and I'll revamp their I'll revamp their farms for them too I'll set a farming district probably tear down that house on the outskirts put farms there put an extra bed in one of these condense things a little this one feels like it could have lightning in it it got dark Uh, took me way too many tries to do that. Right, I 
guess those don't make uh, getting around easy. I'll have to widen that a little bit to have a uh, maneuverability path. And I placed one on a corner there. I don't mean to do that. Hydrate. Good idea. Ah, there we go. Drinking that purple Kool-Aid. The tastiest one. Oh, ha. Huh. Nice, it's a, it's a cupcake with a candle in it. Not to be confused with a regular cake, which usually does not go in a cup. All right, so I've gotten the corners done. So now it's more fill in the gaps and make sure that there's no spots that don't have good light coverage. So it'll be continuing to line the fence first and then all the in-between which is going to take a lot more torches than what I currently have. And I should have put some more charcoal on to cook. Oh well, I've got enough to make uh, a stack in a bit. <laughs> we'll see how far it goes. I know I will 100% need more torches, but uh, this will be good for right now. Well, now it's getting darker, and I assume that's because it's going to be nighttime soon. Gonna make sure all the houses have torches around them. No, uh, no big shaded spots from them. That's the, sort of the target. See, look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. If it wasn't for this, he'd be in here eating these guys already. Can't have that. Well, I'm not. I'm not breaking any of those torches that wind up outside there like that, because that's still furthering my goals of creating a big area that's safe for me and for my villagers. Thought that was a spider, but it was probably uh, one of my one of my benches. For a moment, I was like, "Ooh, spider! I need those." Actually, I'm gonna sleep. Huh? You guys seem to have a little bit of a shortage. Yeah, I am. Light level zero. Yeah, I think I think they did in 1.18. Which, uh, honestly better, but I'm still going to be, uh, slapping torches everywhere. This is a hardcore world, and I also don't want my villagers to die. But yeah, I have been playing this in 1.18. That was actually the whole point of me dropping some money on a computer upgrade, because I found out that the rig I was currently running couldn't handle streaming and the extra height and depth that 1.18 have without it being real choppy for folks. So I had to get a nice new upgraded, much more modern CPU in here, which meant I needed to get a new motherboard because they changed how they fit every so many generations. I think I've already got them all over this structure. Oh no. There we go. Trying to make it so that no oh oh cool, we got two now.
Might see at some point if I can get a zombie in a boat and stick him somewhere in the village in a spot that the golems can't reach him, but the villagers can still be scared enough to make more golems. Because at some point, I guess I could uh, grind iron from the golems if I want to. Oh, there's three. Nice. But they also definitely help keeping my villagers alive. Oh, was I going to tear this one down? I think I was going to tear this one down, yeah. I can I can put that job block in the center of town. This isn't even a house for living in. Oh, okay, we got four golems, nice. Every time I look, it's like, oh, there's more than I thought there were. But wait, there's more. If I find a fifth. That's the basics lit. Next, I'll be filling in all the uh, the in between. Oh wow! I was not paying attention to my hunger. That means I got to go back and grab some more food. I think I left a water bucket there. chance to shuffle some inventory and actually uh, put some of these logs on to cook. All four of them? Hmm. Maybe I should uh, get a load of logs and then put them on to cook. Huh. Did I not re... I guess I didn't replant that. Okay. So, got a few things to do here. Plant myself some more trees. Offload a bunch of this stuff. Mostly that. Mostly those two things. Uh, cook. Actually, yeah. Cook a bunch of uh, cook a bunch of charcoal. Eventually finish this project. I mean, it's already maximum enchanting power. I just want to make it look cool. So I'll cut through that line and replant a couple lines. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember now. I chopped that other line down and then forgot to replant it because I was waiting for the leaves to break. Roads are starting to get a little clearer as the uh, the rain eats away at all that mess. But she's still real windy. Oop, didn't need to break that tree. I'm just going to put one there anyway. I just don't want them uh, getting caught in each other's foliage. That's a good line. Once these are all broken up, I'll plant another line of them here. Or rather, a little more in between, I think. I think I've been doing them too wide. Do I have dirt? I don't have dirt. Oh, wow! That, uh, that popped near instantly. Myself in nice supplies of wood here. Uh, at least until I can get my hands on some dark oak saplings. 
then it's going to be a whole different ball game. Easiest renewable source of wood is those dark oak saplings. They, they grow fast. They grow big honking trees. Uh, you can you can cut it all down by climb by staircase my, cutting your way up the tree. <laughs> well, I do appreciate though that I'm definitely gotten through. Um, most of the brain fog from Heaven the Rona, which pretty much lines up with the time frame where public health says I'm no longer contagious. So I was worried that one was going to stick with me and I'd be trying to block clutch with my bucket again and <laughs> have some unfortunate deaths while manhunting. Uh, I think I think I would have had that too versus two hunters like. I don't know if you folks were close enough to even get through the portal before I uh, took out the dragon, but my plan for that was I was going to uh, get the dragon down almost all the way and wait for you folks to show up and then see what see how I could handle a little bit of a fight, and if it looked like it was going poorly for me, then I could just go in and finish off the dragon. That way we get an end fight out of it where I wound up pulling way ahead after I went into the nether. I don't need those, but uh, let's see if that's all. Oh yeah, I was going to cook it. Just walking away here with all those trees I just cut down. It's like, why did I come over here? Might as well run a harvest of these while I'm here. Restock my, uh, restock my fuel supply a little bit. I should put a. I should pick a more open spot to grow these. I did have a more open spot, and then I built my house on it. There we go. That buys a bit of burn time. Should I put sheep in this one? I have a bit of a buffer between the cows and the sheep. That way the cows don't crush themselves to death while I'm feeding the sheep. Yeah, I think that is a good idea to give myself the buffer space. And I get my little feeding platform. Uh, what was I gonna do? Well, I might as well I might as well just keep at it for another minute or two. Well am I bad at counting? Yeah, I am a little bad at counting. Crafting. Maybe I can. Uh, maybe I can get some spiders to spawn, and I can pick up a little bit of string. That would be very handy. Oh yeah, food. I came here. I came here to get some food. I'm going to have to light up this surrounding area, too, so they don't walk up on me while I'm doing house chores. I'll take that for now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Three, four. Oh, okay, I did it off by one. That explains. Uh, 
Oh, there's zombies popping up. Probably didn't need to take all those in. It's always five from start, but it's just uh, including the corner piece. This will be where I put sheep. I missed. That is a very well equipped skeleton. Uh, he doesn't have any friends. Oh, arrows. Okay, I'll take the arrows. Spiders. Let's see if I can find some spiders to kill. Instead of uh, zombies and creepers. I don't need... that panic. Whoop, he's gonna blow. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't misjudge. The timing is bad as I thought I did. <sighs> I should be using my iron axe for these. I am guessing, by the looks of things, uh, level up Leo's power still out. He's not able to get his stream on today. So when 6 o'clock comes, I'm probably going to wind up raiding Filza. Unless I see another Minecraft person on. and Because uh, I prefer to try to give some support to smaller streamers when I can. But at the same point, if folks are tuning into my streams for Minecraft... And there's nobody else, like a small streamer, that I can see doing Minecraft. Then I'm going to send them to somebody bigger, like Filza, who does really good Minecraft streams. That way, people can still continue enjoying watching people play Minecraft if they want to. Yeah. Oh! Wow, the gang's all here, and that's a poison boy. No, he's got potion effects. Never mind. He's got potion effects. That's a bit of a shit show in there, I will say. Come on, come on. Yeah, okay, okay. Aha! I don't even... Whoop, nope. That's going to be a problem. Whoop. I want that other spider, though. But I really got to watch my back out here. I don't know what potion you had on you, but I don't want to find out. Spider's getting into my potion supply again. I don't actually have a potion supply. Oh, hey, zombie villager. Huh. I could, uh, I could probably contain you. And yeah, where's my boat? Good God, there's monsters everywhere here. Okay, well, if I want a boat, I'm going to have to make a boat. I already had a crafting table. Why did I do that? Well, here's another one for later. Oh, now there's a regular zombie. Nobody likes you. Wait, is he a zombie nitwit? Do I want to save this guy? Get in. Uh, yeah, I can use birch and make him a little... Uh, make him a little hut to save him from this crap. Um, I don't know if I have any golden apples, but I have the means to make one. 
So I just need to make the splash potion a weakness. I'm being way too inefficient with this build for a temporary keep the zombie in build. It doesn't need to be a big fancy house. It just needs to contain... Oh, you fucker. That's what you get. Keep them from dying. I suppose another thing I could do is <laughs> set up a dispenser and shoot a helmet onto him. There we go. I don't think these ones despawn. But what I am going to do right now is I'm going to sleep and chase away the night. I'm going to grab some food. Ooh, yeah, charcoal. That's not the food that I was going for, but uh, I'm not going to eat the charcoal. All right, so I need fermented spider eye. Um, I surely have gunpowder. How do I not have gunpowder? I've killed so many creepers. Well, I guess I need gunpowder. There we go. Here's a creeper. Give me your fun powder, buddy. Perfect. That gives me splash potion. I've already got glass. So I need... Uh, I think that's everything I need. That will allow me to ferment that spot, those spider eyes. Oh no, I need brown mushroom too. I knew there was something I was missing. Crap. Do I even have brown mushrooms? I do not have brown mushrooms. Awesome. Hmm. Well, you see them in the nether sometimes. I should finish this. Let's see if it's going to be a nightmare in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's Mr. There's Mr. Piggy. That's right. That guy was going to ruin my day. Also, these guys. Right, right, right. I should go get something gold to put on. Make my life a little easier. Ah, frost what? When did I get those? Oh, no, I, I did have those last stream. Okay, so I can, at the very least, make me some bottles. Uh, do I have anything in my potion making? More spider eye? I'll take that. Uh, rotten flesh is a misc. As are the strings. All right. Now I should have a... Ooh, that, uh, that's in bad shape, that shield I just noticed. And I do need to make a golden apple. There we go. We have that. I just need the splash potion of weakness. So let me see if I can find some brown mushroom. Oh no, I was gonna... I was gonna make a shield. Why did I just forget that I was gonna do that? I'll grab that. Have myself a nice replacement shield here. I think I was talking earlier about not having brain fog anymore. Am I sure? Yeah, there we go. Now I only get to deal with um, the normally hostile mobs and not the mobs that are... Oh! 
Oh! That's gonna be real handy later! Haha! <laughs> I like it! Oh, don't snort at me. Here, I'm at your we I'm at your weak point. Actually, I need to find, yeah, one of these. A couple of these to place around and give myself a safe spot. Now, I know the mushrooms don't grow in this biome. Dang, okay. There's another not so bad after all. Slap one of these down there. Slap one of these down there. Huh? Yeah? Why you say, Why are they scared of mushroom anyway? It's so weird. I mean, I won't complain. I'll take the I'll take the free keep my ass alive. But uh, why would a pig be scared of a mushroom? Yeah, get get dunked on. All right. Before I run off and completely lose track of where I am. Dang, okay. Do, uh... Yeah, do the little guys want to wanna pick a fight? <laughs> yeah? Huh? And this is... This would be great for piglin tra trading. Oh, hello, little guy. I know I don't get anything from them, but they still come and attack me. And I want them to not do that. What do we got over here? Okay. Regular mushrooms. Uh, trying to see if I can find a more red area. Seeing if I can spot any of them. Otherwise, I'm not sure where else I would go looking for brown mushrooms. Huh. I'll take the free pig. Free leather. Yo, not tangling with that jerk. Oh, I guess I am. There we go. Little access point. That's going to break. Once. Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Yeah. See if I can. And then they jump them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. I wonder if you can burn those vines. Oh crap. <laughs> I just got those guys murdered. lot of piglins here. Uh. I ain't messing around with these guys in hardcore. I'm a little braver when I've got more than one life. How did... Did his ass hit me? What the fuck? Is he just auto-hitting my shield? Hmm. Shouldn't take me that long to eat a pork chop. Haha! <laughs> I have to open up a lot of this. Okay, I see red mushrooms over there. Yeah, I'm seeing red mush. Those aren't the ones that I use for fermentation, but they are still mushrooms. So if I head over that way, I might be able to find. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on, come on. Did did he just let me? Whoop! Ha! <laughs> Not for long. Come on, come on, yeah. There we go. That's uh, good resources to take back. Yeah, more red mushrooms. I bet that's where I will find the other guys. Uh, taking a 
big old gamble here. Uh, not really that big of a gamble, I guess. I should grab some blue vines for clutching. Whoop. Oh, I bonked, I bonked my head, that's why. Yeah, let me head over to the blue zone, get some of them blue vines. Haha. <laughs> um... Are you okay? Whoop! Oh, that one landed. Whoop. I'll be able to put some uh, protection on my chest plate soon. I need to cut down a lot of these so I can see where I'm going. See where my portal is. I just need some blue vine. Here, bluey, bluey, bluey. How, how could there not be blue vine here? That's weird. Is it really... Hey, I found my portal. Come on, where's where's the blue vines? Ah, they're, they're way over there. I wonder if there's any that are closer. Well, I need them. Realizing I don't even have a hay bale on me right now. cautious approach to the nether this is the first hardcore run since back when I beat it on 1.16 where I've gotten into the nether and I know that the nether is a pretty dangerous place that'll make my life easier shower down might as well grab some of this now. I can use it for bridging and such. That way I'm not using up my more versatile wood. Ooh, there we go. There's there's the vines. There's those funny short videos I'm looking for. Where did the ones that I literally just broke go? Did they go into the fire? Yeah. All that crap can go in the fire though. Yeah. Wait, that that should be more than two. these things grow back over time so I'm leaving some in case they do that way vine can be a renewable resource good old clutch vine I might try to grow some in the overworld at least until I look it up and find out why I can't grow it in the overworld all right oh not messing with that uh, that big floating baby head So going back over where I was, now that I've got my clutch block, my building blocks, um, there's my stairway. 
I'll spend a little time off stream cutting down all the trees around my portal just to give me a better view of everything. I feel like this will be a safe enough area. I've, uh... Maybe a little bit lost track of where the portal is. That's okay though because I did note the coordinates and that's really all I need to get back there. I definitely feel like I'm going the wrong way. But, uh, no. Whoop. Alright. Right in the butt. Ha ha ha. Whoop! Ooh, boy. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> Good little shot of EXP off of that, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little, a uh, little bit lost, I think. Well, I did see those mushrooms over there, though. And that was where I was going to go. So I'm not super lost. I'm in the general area of where I was before. Because I remember cutting through here. It gives me a little bit of a... <clears throat> I should just leave a vine there for all the crossings I'm going to be doing. Should I just straight up bridge across this? Uh, yeah. It's, uh, all good until, uh, gas shoots me off, but yeah. Save some of those for making stuff. I don't think these burn. I haven't practiced speed bridging enough to ever risk it during a hardcore run. Uh, yeah, um, but I really do need to get some practice in on that. Oh! That, uh, that actually changes things a little bit. This is literally right there, right there. I don't have to go all the way over there. I found brown mushroom. Oh yeah, you can place it on this. I saw them around here somewhere. Gold that over there. Um, where was I? I was right about here, huh? So where are they down there? Uh, that's weird. I know I saw them. I'm gonna have a look around this area anyway, because this is definitely where they could spawn. Plus, all I've got are a few different. Yeah, okay. I guess. Uh, oh, that's good to know! That is real good to know! Whoa! Shite, that's bad, that's bad. I'm gonna run over here out of the range of the gas. That was a dumb move. I can't put myself out right now. Look, I need some big boy blocks. can contain some of that lava. <laughs> Give myself a little more maneuvering room. That helps 
mitigate a lot of that risk. Try to not burn myself to death on the, on the quest for mushrooms. So there's there's uh, there's some over there. Dang, there's a lot of piglins. Like I won't have any trouble when it comes time to trade. I'm gonna do a little bit of the uh, threat neutralization here. Real bright, actually. That gives me some to grow and some to use. That red one. I'll set up a little mushroom chamber in the overworld. It definitely is the brown ones, right? Yes. Perfect. Oop. Time to move before he starts taking pot shots at me. Oh, is he above us? I don't think those burn. Those are fun. I'll take more light source. Now that I have retrieved the mushrooms I seek, I just need to get back to base. things standing between me and getting back to base are several giant ass pigs <sighs> all right well I can still deal I can still deal with this huh yeah you want you want to pay some me piggy I want you for lunch well I guess I'm not getting my lunch I thought he would die faster, or slower. Or I thought the lava would dissipate faster. Something did something at the speed that I didn't expect it to. Alright, let's find that portal. Can I do it without having to check my coordinates? Starting to think the answer to that one is no. Huh? That seems familiar. And I'm gonna have to cut down a lot of this. Oh no, there's my portal. That was not a good swing. That's what you get. Woo! Successful mission! And it's daytime. Ha! Ah, there's a piglin. And <laughs> he's got potion effects. Alright, that's uh. Oh, you can't make a boat out of those. You can make a boat out of these. Get in. Don't want to, um, yeah, there we go. 
Uh, no eye, huh? Alright, I guess you can hang out here with your with your vine. Okay. I need blaze powder to make to power potion. Of course I do. Alright, well, I've at least got some of the steps ready to go here then. But yeah. That'll be a thing I will probably do on another stream. I might nip over to the fort. Nah, I won't. I won't do that off stream. There's a chance I might die doing that. And if I die doing anything on this hardcore world, I want it to be on stream. So if there's a modest risk of dying, then I am gonna not fuck around. Hydrate, yeah. Ah, there we go. Thank you for the redemption of the hydration. Well, I got one thing I can do before I go off stream and find somebody to raid, and that is enchanting this chest plate. What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? Uh, thorns too. Unbreak. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's a that's a fine selection. And then I'm down to twenty-seven, so I'll save up for my next level thirty enchant. Disc, toss the bone in there. That goes in plants. Uh, I'm going to stick the shroom light somewhere. That'll be good for clutches. I'll put the shroom light in plants for now. Anyway, food. No, I think I'll keep that on me for next time I dip into the nether. Huh. All right. Weapons. I'm thinking I should make a bow. I don't have a lot of arrows yet, but uh, that, that would that would take care of one of those troublesome ghasts, for instance. Ah, I have twins. Nice. And do the baby ones sometimes drop gold nuggets as well, or is that just the big ones? Whoop! Whoop, nope. So hard to judge that. And they do drop nuggets, okay. Nice, nice. I think that was a reasonably productive adventure today. I got my house built. I dabbled in the nether. I've got... I'm sure, I'm sure he's still in the box over there. I've got a villager that I can cure and then drag into my village so he can tell the others how great I am. Oh yeah, he's still in there. He would make a great guy to set up as a trader for um, being... Wow, you can tell, you can tell I'm about done streaming energy when I forget all the words. A librarian, give him the librarian trades. Get a good enchantment book and make it super cheap. Still got this poor turtle hanging out in my boat. I'm gonna free you. You're free. You're free, my child. I still want the boat there for accessibility. Don't get back in it now that you've learned a lesson. All right. So I think this will be a good time for me to find somebody to raid. Let me see who is up and uh, and doing the streaming, doing that Minecraft streaming that I want to share Minecraft with everybody. Every 15 seconds we get a Just ignore that. And all right, Twitch. Let's see if I can find somebody good for you folks to watch. Filza is definitely go. still on his stream. Do I see anybody else on? Nobody, nobody, no one. Nah, none of the other ones that I'm following uh, doing Minecraft. Let me just take a little peek, though. Just uh, give me a second while I turn off the headset input. Uh, who is... 
Okay. So this is a smaller streamer. I don't know who they are. However, um, they're doing speed runs. And they're doing pretty good. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to follow them. Oh, yeah, they've got, uh, they've got a modest crowd. I'm going to rate them. Increase that. Slash. Oh, raid. Uh, Fyroa. Here we go. We're going to raid Fyroa next stream. Uh, dip I might do a... Um, I might do a stream this Saturday. I'll definitely do a stream next Saturday, though. Wait. Why is it not giving me the... I have a raid in progress, it says. Oh, looks like somebody has just given me a follow back. Uh, Sigler Sun is now following. Thank you very much for the follow. Where is the button to actually raid? That should be coming up here. Uh, give me a sec. That's weird. I don't have the complete the raid button. Raid. Uh, give me a second here. I oh, it says I already have a raid in progress. That's uh, don't know what to do here. How do I fix that? Give me a second. Uh. Start raid. Something went wrong. Try running that quick action later. Uh, come on. Come on. Why is it not letting me raid right now? Oh, we are one away from the uh, follow goal. Come on, let me let me get. Oh my god, it's actually not going to let me raid. This makes no sense whatsoever. It says there's a raid in progress, but won't finish the raid. Let me see if I can find a solution to this. How to use rates. Timer counts down. It should have stuck in progress. Okay, let me see. Raid. This shouldn't be this hard. Okay, slash unraid to cancel an ongoing raid. Slash raid. Firoa. Okay, there we go. We got the raid work in. Perfect. All right. So they're doing Minecraft speed runs. Looks uh, looks like they're doing fun. They're having a little bit of a Twitch problem right now. They picked up a ton of followers and their thing is going nuts. Here we are. And I may see you folks Saturday, but it'll be a real improv thing. I understand if uh, folks don't tune in to that one just because it's dumped on you last minute. Definitely going forward, though, future Saturdays will be a consistent thing as long as I can get some community involvement in that one. Here we go. Let's raid.